Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. Today, the indoor paradise I like to call home. A paradise I share with my family, which, as you can see by the sign on the wall, if it is at all legible, best family ever. Now, please don't take offense at that or consider me arrogant, uh, but they're mine. I love them. They're my favorites. Every family should feel that way about their family. And my kids, well, here's a picture of them. That's about a little old, uh, probably about nine years old. But uh, they still bring my wife and I joy. And they're off at school now. Gabby's in high school. Boys just left for grade school uh, because I want them to have what this life has to offer. I want them to learn so that they have options. They can choose what they want to do in life. They can get the most out of life, give back, make a positive impact on the world. That's what I want. I want, in short, I want everything for them. I want heaven. I want everything that God has to offer. Which brings me to a lesson that Jesus speaks to in, in uh, John chapter 3, where a man, much like me, wants to know, <laughs> how do I get everything? His name is Nicodemus, and he comes to Jesus in the middle of the night because he's afraid of what his friends might say, what his friends might think. And so he asks Jesus about the kingdom of heaven, about getting everything from God. And Jesus says this, I tell you the truth, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That confuses Nicodemus. How, how can a person be born again, he asks. And Jesus says that unless a person is born by the water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit, it gives birth to spirit. You know, what you and I can give our children is very, very limited, simply because they come from us. And we are weak. We have flaws. We have such limitations, and we all, we all die. That's the best I can give my children. God can give them more. God does give them more. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, who is God, gives them more. And he gives them that through this promise, the promise of Jesus come into the world, that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That's the promise that God gives to you and to me, to our children, the promise of everything. Because of Jesus' sacrifice for you and me, we belong to God. We are children of God, and we get all that is his. It's an amazing thing. That's why I keep that in the forefront of my children's minds, um, and I pray that they always remember it. My wife and I, I pray that that's what binds us together and binds us to God. And I pray that it binds you to your God as well that it blesses your family, and that through it, you have everything. Let me pray. Father in heaven, thank you for everything. We thank you for this life, for the family we enjoy, the blessings within, but above all that promise given by your Holy Spirit of forgiveness, won by your Son, we ask that you hold us close, hold us to this, and remind us every day of the glory and inheritance that is ours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless your day.